This is Ted at Fireboard Labs. I'm here to go through some features with our new Fireboard Spark. Fireboard Spark is an instant read thermometer, but it also has a really neat external probe port which takes all the standard Fireboard probes, so Spark really acts just like a Fireboard. Spark also has some cool features built in. One of them is called Sync Mode, and we'll dig into that and more. So first, I'm gonna go through the menu system on the Fireboard Spark. There's a single button, and the screen rotates, so either way, left-handed or right-handed, and you hold the button in for about a second, and it shows the menu. And then the menu will disappear after about another second or two, and you can scroll through the menu by just a single button push, and it just kind of keeps on looping through the menu choices. And you can go to settings, and then from there, you can change different parameters. You can actually change the degrees mode, so Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can change showing the decimal point or not. And there's several other features built in in the settings menu, so check that out. Um, and what I'm gonna dig into first is actually a, uh, a feature we call auto hold. And so auto hold is exciting. This is actually engaged when you swivel this probe out. And let's, for example, let's show in some hot water what happens. So about one to two seconds. And what you'll see, and you actually will feel this as well, there's haptic feedback, so there's a little vibration. And what it does is it sets a value once that temperature stabilizes, and that's what we call an auto hold. So then it pushes that temperature up to the cloud. And one thing to point out real quick as well, that auto hold value that we just had is available in the app. So now all those auto hold instant readings are available basically at a table view in the Fireboard app. So check that out, that's, that's kind of a neat feature. If you want auto hold to turn off, and if you want to just push all the values and sort of use this probe just like a normal Fireboard so it pushes temperature values every five seconds, you can do that as well. Just navigate through the menu and go down, it's sort of at the bottom, and save temps. Turn that to all, and that basically toggles between all and auto. And all, of course, means it's pushing all of those values up to the cloud. Auto means the auto hold mode is engaged. So next, I'm gonna go through what we call sync mode. And this is engaged, again, through the menu. And by the way, a lot of these features on the Spark are available within the Fireboard app as well. So you can configure a lot of that stuff through the app, or you can do it through the menu. And I should note, uh, before I forget, I should note, we encourage everybody, so Fireboard Spark is cloud connected. So it's, it's Bluetooth, but it's also Wi-Fi. And then once it's on Wi-Fi, it connects to the cloud. And we encourage everybody to get it on Wi-Fi, and that way you get all of our over-the-air updates automatically. And we keep on pushing firmware updates so that make sure you get on Wi-Fi, that's pretty key. So sync mode is the mode that turns Fireboard Spark into a monitor. So if you have another Fireboard, and in fact, we actually have one going today, and we have a cook outside, and we have a Fireboard set up with three channels, and so now my screen is actually showing, it's rotating through those three channels. So it's really handy if you're on the phone or maybe you're at the office, you can just put this right here on your desk and you can monitor all those channels. And again, sync mode can be engaged through the menu system. And you just toggle sync mode on or sync mode off. And you can do that through the app as well. Uh, one thing to point out, We've really built in some cool power saving features to the Spark. Uh, one is sync mode will stay, the screen will stay on and sync mode will be active for about 30 minutes and then it'll go to sleep. If you come back, the motion sensor, just pick it up and again that timer resets for 30 minutes, will stay on and it goes back to sleep. The same thing with the external probe port. <clears throat> let's say you want to go out and let's say you want to go do a, a long cook and you plug in your, your external probe and you set this out next to the grill. 
After about 10 minutes, the spark will turn off and it goes into sleep, but it pushes a temperature value every minute up to the cloud. And so that feature is really designed, the vast majority of the time, the spark will be in sleep, and so you really prolong that battery life. So we've designed Spark to be the full charge. If you're using it kind of, we call a normal use, will last about a year. And that means every weekend, maybe you do a long cook, and then maybe every day you're doing some instant reads like this, you're going around. So it'll last, give or take, about a year. Now the sync mode will chew up more battery life. So we don't really include sync mode within that year, that year spec. Okay, so one more feature to dig into real quick. Um, this is actually a really neat feature built in. On the back side of the Spark, there's a little wireless indicator, but this is where the NFC scanner is. So I have these little NFC tags. It just happens to be, doesn't have to be this certain type, but <clears throat> real quick and scan it. Again, you'll feel that haptic feedback. And then what will happen is there'll be a little icon on the screen with a little N, and that shows you that it's scanned an NFC tag. And then let's say you're in a kitchen, restaurant, commercial setting. You may go scan something and you want to go do these food safety checks, right? So you can go through and associate those temperature checks with whatever you scan. So this can be labeled chicken. So you probe the chicken. So now that pushes up to the cloud and it's automatically labeled as chicken and so on. So you could very rapidly scan, do your temp check, scan, do your temp check, and everything is labeled and organized and of course with your timestamp and everything for your, for your safety records. So it's really designed more for the commercial restaurant setting but there are some uses at home, and I think for the consumer side, it would make sense as well. So check out more features all on docs.fireboard.io. That's our knowledge base. So we'll get into more of the NFC and more of these details on that knowledge base. Again, at docs.fireboard.io. So excited about the Spark. Um, let us know if you have questions. Um, info at fireboard.com is our main support email. Um, so we appreciate Appreciate everybody digging into this and let us know if you have questions. Thank you.